What's up, YouTube? Randy and Thor here again to analyze another closed caption TV video of violence. So this one is called Street Knife Attack, which leaves little to the imagination. Right. Again, it's in some crazy alphabet. I don't know. Probably Tell us. Russian. I'm, I'm or assuming. Something. I'm assuming Russian, but I don't want to piss Russians off. They're a, okay. Yeah. They hold grudge. So it might be anything else. It could be. It could be. It's definitely a Slavic language. It's Russian. So, <laughs> it's like, it's just tell us if we're wrong. <laughs> so from here, we're gonna go straight up attack, get play. And we've both seen this video. This is one of the yeah. first ones I've actually seen. So we know what we want to talk about here. Let's hit this bad boy, boom. So, video comes in, street knife attack. Bunch of people hanging on some stairs. Somebody's coming up the stairs. The guy in the white with the hood on has a knife. No? no? Oh, no, the other guy does, I can clearly see. Look at his hand. Yeah. Oh, this video breaks it down, look at that. Shows the knife right there, so he's hiding the weapon, which we'll right. talk about in our pre-attack cues here in a second when we break this video down. Boom, stab, stab, straight stab. Uses the live hand to control distance like we talk about yeah. all the time. He's hitting him too. He's hitting him, boom. This guy dirty jimmies him a little bit. Yeah. Nice sweep, takes him down. So he's starting to win this. Yeah. He clearly had some judo chat, stab, Bozo, chat training, some down. kind of throwing training. Boom, one, because that, that sweep is not normal, natural. Yeah. So he's checking himself, and then he goes to chase him. Probably should have done that. Right, I agree. We're gonna break that down in a second too. That's probably not the best plan to do. Okay, and then he's some guy's directing traffic. Oh, <laughs> don't he went that way. Went that way. Don't don't get him. So this guy's taking this personally. Again, we maybe don't know who the people are, but he's definitely taking it personally when he should not be taking this personally. He should be getting to medical attention as fast as possible. Yes. Right, and it's a problem with adrenaline. An adrenaline dump is that it kind of takes care of that pain for a long time. There he is, back on camera. Right. He's walking, he's still doing pretty yeah, good. He was stabbed, we saw. Crazy. He was stabbed. We talk about Dead Man's 10. Oh, boom, he drops. So, that is crazy. Then people are gonna rush to his aid. We're gonna stop the video there, yeah, I guess. That's good. So, let's break that down. You can win a fight and still lose. I personally had a friend win a fight and lose. He died. Almost in that situation. We don't know if this guy died. He could have got the medical attention. And again, I can't stress enough as technology grows, medical attention is gonna help you. Right. But what we wanna point out here is. That guy won, he did. but he didn't win. He didn't live, he didn't survive. He didn't, right? do he didn't use appropriate tactics for the aftermath. Exactly, and so when we talk self-defense, especially at KPC, we use Rory Miller's face and buttons. And of the seven, seven things we make something into self-defense, number seven is the aftermath, both short-term and long-term, psychologically and then physically. Uh, I like to say you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself, and you absolutely should. So in this situation, adrenaline took over, Hypervigilance probably took over. That's what happens under adrenaline. Hypervigilance, this is the moment you were meant to be here. It's a trait that's good for the tribe, not good for you as a human being. Right. He got stabbed pretty much right in the chest. Directly. Then the guy did all the things we talked about. He used his live hand. He started stabbing him. Then the other guy did all the things we talked about too. He interrupted the weapon. He kind of hit him and yeah. interrupted that. He grabbed him. He swept him. He won. He put him on the ground, started hitting him. But all that time, as we talked about before, you can have a fatal wound and still be third, ten, dead man's 10, it's called, but that's the low end of the dead man's 10 is 10 seconds. You have up to two minutes you can live yeah. and be fine and survive. And we talked about before, you could lose with 30% of your blood and systolically still be able to defend yourself. Doesn't mean you'll survive that later. So, what we would recommend in this situation is after you get stabbed and the threat is gone, don't chase the threat. That's not a good idea. You should check yourself. I will go over what we say to how to check people. I think that's a good way to get this out there. Yeah. Um, and then, what do you think he should have done after that as well? Just, yeah, he should not have pursued. He, he's not a cop, but even if he was, he's clearly injured, yeah. uh, potentially fatally. He should have, after the guy left, he should have just checked himself, like you said, yeah. and then got help. Exactly, and that's, that would have stopped the, just the collapse. You saw what happened was, it was adrenaline, 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 and adrenaline burns pretty fast, especially in men. And then the adrenaline ended and his body realized what was going on. So, if you succeed in a fight, adrenaline might, you might not know you were stabbed. When I was stabbed, I didn't know I was stabbed. The doctor had to tell me. Almost everybody I talked to when they were stabbed, they didn't know they were stabbed because the body does a really good job of dealing with that. So, after you are done your encounter and you have won, if you have won, you need to get somewhere safe. If you are safe, stay where you are. If you're not safe, get somewhere safe. Then you're going to check yourself. And this is how we recommend doing it. And I say all the time, uh, talent borrows genius steals. So please feel free to give this to your students. Even if you want to claim it's your own, I don't care as long as they don't bleed out in a street fight. Yeah. What I like to do after an encounter has happened 
is using my hands, I like to segment my body, head, neck, upper arm, lower arm, front, sides, back, butt, front, inside leg, outside leg, calves. And what I do is I check each of those areas. So I'll check my face, for example, on my head, and I'll look around, and then I'll look at my palms. If I see no blood, I continue going. Okay? So I check my arms, check my chest, check whatever. If I do see blood, I want to recheck with the back of my hand. So I'm going to take my hand, and oh crap, I found blood. I'm going to check again, and I'm going to look. If there's more blood, it's your blood. So understand you're bleeding from your body. If there's less blood, it's their blood. You're just wiping off of you. Hence the double check. So check with your hands, look for blood. If you see blood, flip it. Check again in the same area you indicated the blood in your segmented portion of your body. If you see more blood, it's your blood. Call for medical attention as fast as possible. Because again, survivability rates are high for this. Super high and every single year we get better blood clotting agents, better surgeons, better everything. All the time, medical technology goes. You are not dead until you're dead. If you can get to an EMT within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you're probably gonna be okay. So you can still be stabbed and get through this. I'm not recommending going to get stabbed and testing this, don't but I'm stabbed. saying, don't get stabbed. But stuff happens, you may get hurt. If you do get hurt, check yourself before you hurt yourself. And you want to add there? No, man, you said everything. He he did good. The guy ambushed him. He won. Him. They must he won. Have, yeah, yeah. He, he won. He, he screamed. He, controlled, he tried isolating the weapon as best he can with that extension. Mm -hmm. He was hitting the guy, tripped him. He improved his position. He did everything. He, he did said. everything. He impacted everything we would recommend as we have on multiple videos. That guy yeah. did. Not just the aftermath part he effed up on. It's not as great as that shop guy, though. I still love that shop guy. He's my that favorite. Was, that was the best video. So. If you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe it, or subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can make more of these. If you have any videos you want us to analyze, feel free to send them to us. And as always, it's Randy and Thor from KPC Self Defense.